My Catholic Faith, Lesson 193 Propagation of the Faith It is not possible for all to go to distant missions to win souls for Christ, but one can always help by prayers and alms. Those who thus assist missionaries in their apostolic labours will be rewarded. Holy Scripture says, Equal shall be the portion of him that went down to battle, and of him that abode at the baggage, and they shall divide alike. How can we help the missions? By praying for the missions, home and foreign, and for missionaries that they may fulfill the command of Christ. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations. We should include on our particular petitions each day a fervent prayer for missions and missionaries. They are the vanguard of God, making Christ known in regions darkened by paganism. Pray therefore that the Lord of the harvest, to send forth labourers into his harvest. By knowing the missions and making them known to others. We learn about the missions by reading mission magazines and other periodicals, by joining mission societies, by contributing to missionary appeals, by taking active part in missionary work. Let us love the missions, for it is only by them that the approximately one billion souls still unbaptized may know and love Christ our Lord. By making sacrifices for the missions, that is, by helping to support them, and by personal service. This is best done through mission societies that we should join as members, as well as through missionaries personally known to us. By fostering vocations of self-sacrificing young people for the missions. Many good Catholics support or help support students in seminaries destined for the missions. Others support priests and religious serving in the missions. If we cannot imitate these good people on account of our financial situation, we can always offer up fervent prayers and sacrifice. Which are the different official church organisations intended to promote and to collect means for the propagation of the faith? The following are the most important organisations. The Pontifical Society for the Propagation of the Faith. This society is under the direction of the Sacred Congregation de Propaganda Fide in Rome. Its purpose is to further the evangelization of the world by the united prayers of the faithful and by the collection of arms for the distribution to the missions in the Western Church territories. Conditions for Membership. Daily prayers of One Our Father, one Hail Mary, and Invocation, St. Francis Xavier, pray for us, and an offering, individual yearly memberships, $1, individual perpetual memberships, $40, family perpetual memberships, $100. Deceased persons are also eligible for membership. All members share not only in 15,000 Masses that are offered annually for their intentions, but in all the prayers, sacrifices and apostolic works of the missionaries. Mission Sunday is the next to last Sunday in October. This is designated as a day of prayer and propaganda for the missions. In addition, the offerings of the faithful are received to aid the missions. The Pontifical Association of the Holy Childhood By this organisation, Catholic children throughout the world make their contribution of prayer and alms for the welfare of children in mission fields. Thus, our children become little apostles. The conditions are Daily prayers of one Hail Mary and the ejaculation Holy Virgin Mary, pray for us and for the poor pagan children. And Almsgiving to the Association. Members gain numerous merits, sharing in those of missionaries and of the children benefited, 
and masses offered by missionaries everywhere, and the prayer of all members, etc. The Pontifical Society of St. Peter the Apostle This association was organised to help in the formation of native clergy in mission lands. This aim is accomplished in three ways. By prayers for the formation of new priests, holy and pleasing to God. By furnishing the material aid necessary for the maintenance of major and minor seminaries in the missions, and by supporting poor seminarians in their studies for the priesthood, in territories under the sacred congregation of the propagation of the faith. The importance of this society's work is well illustrated in the words of the Vicar of Christ. If you do not work with all your might to accomplish the building of a native clergy, we maintain that your apostolate will, not, will be not only crippled, but it will prove to be an obstacle and, a, and an impediment for the establishment and organization of the church in those countries. From Rerun Ecclesiae, Pius XI in 1926. The American Board of Catholic Missions this board is composed of a United States hierarchy. An Episcopal committee annually distributes to the missionary diocese of the United States and its dependencies 40% of the annual Mission Sunday collection of the Society for the Propagation of the Faith. The Catholic Church Extension Society This is a home organization established for the purpose of building chapels and schools, supporting mission churches, distributing mass stipends to missionaries and educating priests for the home missions. The official organ of this society is the monthly Extension magazine with a circulation of 400,000 copies. The Catholic Near East Welfare Association This association does for the missions of the Eastern Church what the Society for the Propagation of the Faith does for those of the Western Church. Conditions for membership, a daily prayer and an offering, individual yearly memberships $1, family yearly memberships $5, individual perpetual memberships $20, family perpetual memberships $100. Commiserate of the Holy Land this organisation collects and distributes funds for the support of the holy places as well as of educational and charitable projects in the Holy Land. Commission for Catholic Missions among the Coloured People and Indians This commission is engaged in furnishing aid to Indian and Negro missions. Catholic Students' Mission Crusade it is engaged in promoting missionary knowledge among Catholic students by means of a national magazine, textbooks, lectures, plays and similar methods. Its activities include spiritual, educational and missionary aid. The Mission Crusade has a membership of approximately 1 million and 3,100 educational institutions. The national headquarters are at Crusade Castle, 5100 Shattuck Avenue, Cincinnati 26, Ohio.